Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to insert the data and information in the five sheets of quality key which are air temperature, dew point temperature, wind speed, cloud cover and sheet. So before we start, I'd like to highlight one uh, thing which is related to this uh, uh, information and data in the green cells. So as I mentioned earlier that do those information and data in green uh, cells are the output of color to create. So we don't need to insert anything in the green uh, cells. For example, now let's uh, uh, have a look if I just deleted all of this uh, data inside the green cells. So I just delete it now and uh, uh, I'm just going to run the quality K. Okay. So all of this information and data will uh, uh, will be extracted by quality K okay from uh, from here, from from this uh, work uh, worksheet, which is the rich. So uh, let's just go back. Uh, this is the air temperature. You can see it's deleted now, and let's uh, run the software and see what will happen. Okay guys, the solution is finished, so just press OK, OK, then uh, let's go back to uh, the, to this sheet, air temperature, and we can notice that all of these uh, data and information have been um, extracted or uh, inserted by quality 2K itself. So what we are going to insert exactly here, we just need to insert the temperature of the air for the 24 hours starting from 12 a.m. and ending by 11 p.m. This information we need to insert it for each and every rich. So, so you can notice now here we have for like you know for these rich uh, for these riches until here we have almost we have almost the same uh, information and data. So um, let's have a look in the manual first also. So let's go to the manual. So this is the user guide manual here. I can say, guys, uh, in section 6.2.4, um, the metrology and shielding worksheet. You can notice that we have five worksheets that we need to insert. The first one is the air temperature, and you need to be very careful about the temperature units, which is degree Celsius. The second one is the dew point temperature. So uh, this uh, dew point temperature always lower than the air temperature in most cases unless the uh, air humidity is 100% if the air humidity is 100% means like the dew point temperature will be equal to the air temperature the third one is the wind speed and the fourth is the cloud cover and lastly is the shade so now let's see if you have all of this information what you are going to do you just need to uh, key in all of this information along the 24 hours for each Rich. same things go to the dew point temperature you can notice everything almost the same so uh, you just need to uh, key in the dew point temperature for each rich for the 24 hours then we have the wind speed same things go to it the cloud cover here and the percentage you can notice that the uh, yeah before we go to the cloud cover you just need to have a look in the units of the wind speed if you just go back to the tutorial you notice that the wind speed is supposed to be in meter per second so you need to be very careful about the units so all of, all of informations and data here is supposed to be in meter per seconds for the wind speed and the cloud cover here in the percentage you can notice that it's uh, just a, a percentage starting from zero that means the uh, cloud cover is uh, there is no cloud at all then uh, if it increased to reach 100% that means the cloud is covered the whole area at this certain time then uh, finally which is the sheet and here you can notice that uh, the sheet uh, uh, is also in percentage and started from uh, 0 to reach to 100% so based on the condition of the river you have to insert the sheet Okay, let's see guys, uh, if you are going to do like, you know, pilot study and you don't have this uh, exact information, 
and you want to insert it to quad okay to just to do like you know pilot study there are several websites that can provide such information online and uh, i'll show you today two uh, of these uh, uh, online um, database the first one uh, is here just just let's have a look on it so the first one is here you can say this is uh, a s o s uh, metadata download so uh, simply what we are going to do for example let's say for example uh, first of all we need to uh, specify the, reg the region if, uh, in my case i choose malaysia and i just switch to the network so i can see the map will uh, here give me the all props uh, or a station that i can get the information from so uh, let's say for example i'm going to simulate a river close to the airport so this is for example this is the uh, Kuala Lumpur International Airport and this is the station that I can get the uh, data and information from it and let's see if I'm just going to simulate this single river so it's uh, really close to this station or to this with this station so I can just use the information and data in this uh, location what I'm going to do exactly just click on it so uh, this is the ID is WNKK uh, 2000 so I'm just going to look uh, after that so you can notice it is here this is WNKK uh, uh, column board 2000 so I'll just click add selected you can notice it has been added here then next we need to specify what uh, information that we need to uh, extract from this website or from this station so let's see I'm just going to go the air temperature and degree Celsius the wind temperature degree Celsius and for example the wind speed uh, in meter per hour and then I will convert it later to meter per second uh, as mentioned here so uh, then next I'm just going to specify the date for example let's say to the is uh, 23rd of January 2022 so I'm just going to choose for example okay let's got the information of or the data of yesterday which is 22 and end by the same day 22 so for 24 hours and next and here you can just choose the coordinate uni universal time uh, zone so i just keep it uts and here uh, the data format so for example i'm just going to say okay uh, this uh, data format and here uh, if you want to include the Longitude, longitude and latitude of this station you can include it as well elevation if you want to include it you can choose yes from here then uh, if you if there is a missing data so they will use uh, letter n and uh, what next and here we can save the data directly to uh, your uh, computer or you can just open it in a browser and internet so i'll choose the first one for this case then uh, i'll keep this as a default then i'll just press get data so you can notice now here we have uh, this is the station id and here we have uh, the date which is first uh, 22nd of uh, january 2022 the time is 0000 and we have here uh, the the first one is the time uh, is the temperature in degree celsius the second one is the dew point temperature in degree celsius and the third one is the speed of the wind in meter per hour so this data is started from uh, 12 um, a.m. and ending by 11.30 p.m. for 24 hours for the same day. Okay, guys, this is the first. This is the first uh, online data that you can extract. For example, the, the temperature, the dew point, uh, the air temperature, dew point temperature, wind speed. And the second one, we just call it... Um, this one we just call it um, uh, weather underground so in this website uh, i just need to go to here then click in historical weather then here i just need to specify the location for example let's say i'll choose the same station which is kuala lumpur airport which is kuala lumpur uh, international uh, international airport then i need to uh, choose 
the date for example okay uh, the month is january the day is yesterday and there is 2022 then few uh, data and here you can notice that we have several graphs just scroll down until you reach to this table so you can notice in this table so this data is for um, where is the date you can find it it is here january 22 uh, of uh, 22nd of january 2022 then uh, here you can notice that we have the time starting from 12 a.m then ending by 11 p.m so we have the temperature but uh, the units is fahrenheit so we need to convert it to degrees celsius so we have the air temperature dew point temperature humidity and here we have the wind speed the wind speed is mid per hour also you can use mid per hour so we need to convert it before inserting it inside uh, into quality okay then um, we have here the uh, condition you can notice here this this is the condition it can give like you know um, some uh, hint about uh, the cloud cover so you can say here in the cloud cover it's just about the percentage so uh, for example if you can say the weather is fair so the cloud uh, cover could be less than um, less than 20 percent for example and uh, uh, you can judge you can judge this value if you didn't have it if you didn't have the real values of this uh, sheet of this sheet which is cloud cover so you can just um, for example you know um, guess it from uh, the uh, weather condition here so for example let's choose other day uh, let's say the first day of this month which is first of january then few then you can notice that we have all of these data and information for that day so uh, this is uh, how to get uh, online informations uh, about the weather uh, uh, about the weather from online database uh, so this information and data you can just use it as for pilot study not for the real life project you know just for pilot study and something like you know uh, preliminary analysis you can use the online uh, data but for the real project uh, i recommend that you need to get the exact uh, data and insert it in quality okay so guys i hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions just please uh, put it in the comment the links of these two websites i'll put it in the description of the video so um, please like share and subscribe and thank you